How does it feel right now, nationally televised game? Yeah. You're clearly the star attraction. It's been that way throughout the season. Everybody's talking about you. What's the season been like for you? Um, it's been fun, man. Uh, I don't. I wouldn't say that I'm the star of attraction, but right. um, I would say my team is. As a team, we're doing it together, and um, Finch is doing a great job of putting us in the right spots. How good are you feeling about this team compared to what you saw last season? Um, I felt I felt like this last season, but we got hurt. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I feel like as long as we stay healthy, we're, we're, we're a trouble team to play. So give me an idea. If you didn't get hurt, if you didn't feel like you were 100%, if you had been 100%, what would y'all have done last year against the now reigning defending champion Denver Nuggets? I mean, to be honest, I'm a competitor, so I can't say what we would have did because I don't know. We lost to them. They wouldn't have won a championship, so like, shout out to them. But we, we trying to see them this year for sure. When you look at this team this year, is it about getting yourself set to compete against the champions, or do you look at the entire Western Conference and say to yourself, as presently built, we can take anybody? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we're taking it piece by piece, storm by storm. We ain't looking at the championship right now. We're looking at these last 27, and then we'll figure out the playoffs after that. As you look at your game, what has gotten you to this level? You're averaging over 26 a game. You're the number one option. Carl Anthony Town comes on TV this morning and says he had to come to you and tell you you're the best player on the team. Yeah. He talked about that. Yeah. I Where's mean, your mindset at? our relationship is, is like kind of like best friends, man. Uh, he came to me one game and was like, look, we come to you at the end of the game. And, you know, that's that's you can't teach that, man. That's wanting to see somebody else shine. I think that's that's our entire team. LeBron James was on the record saying that when you look to the future, the guys that are ready to take the mantle, the kind of young bloods that we're going to look at, he brought up your name. He brought up Shea Gilgis Alexander. Your thoughts about that? I think that's dope because um, I think he's exactly right. Me and Shea and Luca for sure. Right. Yeah, you wanted. You said you, Shea, and who? Luca. All right. Yeah. How do you feel you guys, how do you feel you specifically measure up against those two? Uh, I feel like I'm a better player, 100%. What defines success for the Minnesota Timberwolves this season with y'all being the number one seed right now in position to have home court advantage with the expectations now brewing? What's, what's the final success for you guys this season? Our defense. If we come out and, and, you know, pick up the intensity on defense from the jump, I think can't nobody mess with us because we got big Rudy Gobert at the rim, man. He's been, he been, you know, dominating this year. And what can the basketball world expect from Anthony Edwards this season, going into the postseason, and for the future? Figuring out who his self is, um, showing the world that, you know, I can compete at a high level and they need to put us on TV more. Last question. I said this on the record. When I think about you and I see what I'm seeing from you, I think Vince Carter, I think Kobe, I think MJ. He's coming. He's on his way there. Mm -hmm. You hear something like that, how does that make you feel? I go get in the gym because I got to I gotta fulfill what he said. Right. So you got to fulfill what I said? Yeah, I like 100%. That. Jimmy with the heat, I'm on fire. The CDA on the ESPN front.